Hi beautiful people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So in today's video I'm going to be uh, telling you about every Beatles tribute band that I have ever seen. Um, I did a video probably about two years ago now, it was called um, Beatles Tributes that I would recommend seeing, but I don't think I touched on um, every single one of them that I ever saw, so I thought I would do that in today's video um, and tell you about the shows. Uh, there are some that I'm going to be able to recall in more detail than others, um, either because of the, how long ago it was or how many times I saw that particular band, but either way I'm going to uh, mention all of them that I saw. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first Beatles tribute that I ever saw was called The Fab Four. Um, I saw them in 2009, so it was pretty long ago. It was actually the same year that I saw Paul for the first time. I don't remember very much about that uh, Fab Four show, unfortunately, but I do know I enjoyed it. It's just that I was younger then, so my memory is not super clear. I think I was um, like 13 at that time. So, um, but I do know I like the show. I just don't remember much about it, unfortunately. So another one that I saw, this was uh, 2013, I believe. This was Let It Be on Broadway. And here's the uh, playbill from that. This, unfortunately, is one that I don't uh, remember much about either, but it is officially called Let It Be, a celebration of the music of the Beatles. I do remember they, they had one Cavern Club portion, I believe, because I, I remember them being in those like Cavern Club outfits. Um, but I don't think this is running anymore on Broadway, um, but I do remember I like this show. And then another one that I saw is called 1964 The Tribute. I still have my ticket. Uh, I was excited to see this one because I had heard that uh, Rolling Stone magazine called it the greatest uh, Beatles tribute, uh, something like that. The greatest Beatles tribute on earth, I think, was the exact uh, wording. But I saw them, uh, I was in the very front row, and it was at the same theater that I saw Ringo at for the first time in 2016. Um, I saw them in 2015, I believe. Unfortunately, with where we were sitting, the acoustics weren't the best. Like, this, the sound was kind of going past us. I don't know how, how quite to word it, but I do remember enjoying this show. Of course, why wouldn't I? It focuses on my favorite Beatles year, 1964. And I remember their harmonies being really good. Um, I think they actually did Nowhere Man, even though that's not a song from 1964. And I remember they did um, Twist and Shout at the very end, and we all were, like, invited to, like, get up and dance. And that was fun. There might actually have been someone who took a video like from on stage. I know there was a picture um, of us. I'll see if I could find that and include it in the video. Another one that I saw was Liverpool Legends. I saw them at the uh, same theater again that I saw in 1964 as well as Ringo. And that's also the same place that I had my uh, high school graduation ceremony too. But uh, this tribute band I believe was handpicked by George Harrison's sister. Um, and I think we may have actually also been in the front row for this too. I remember uh, the guy who played Paul, he was a really good singer, especially when they did Oh Darling. This one, though, I think it would have been better if we had been sitting farther back, um, because, like, sometimes with tribute bands, when you sit too close, it, like, it gets, I don't know how to call it, a little too costumey or something, so you want to sit, like, further back to get more of a realistic effect. Then another one that I saw, I don't think I have my ticket uh, from this anymore, but it was called The Fab Faux, F-A-U-X, and this was a tribute band that just focused on the music portion rather than uh, costumes or appearances like they didn't wear they didn't try to look like the Beatles they were just um, playing their music and I'm pretty sure they did the entire A Hard Day's Night album um, with some extras thrown in there as well I think for every one of their shows they do like a different Beatles album and play the whole thing I remember really enjoying that because A Hard Day's Night it is one of my uh, favorite Beatles albums this next one is not technically a Beatles tribute, but I wanted to mention it anyway. Um, a few years ago, I saw my local Philharmonic do a concert of solo Beatles songs, and that was really cool. Um, they, it was called, I think, Imagine, and they concluded with the, playing Imagine. Um, I really liked that show. It was cool to hear the songs actually with an orchestra and in that different kind of style, because I do like um, that kind of music, and I performed with my local Philharmonic in some like choral performances in the past, so that was a really cool show. Another tribute that I've seen um, was not technically not specifically a Beatles tribute, but it was called Classic Albums Live, and they did Abbey Road. They played that album in full, and this was another one where it was just focusing on the music rather than appearances. Um, you know, they weren't, it was just a group of professional musicians playing the album and really focusing on the technicalities of the music and things like that. So that was cool to see, um, especially the the medley part of Abbey Road. Next I'll be getting into a couple that I saw pretty recently. Uh, this is not a specifically Beatles tribute, this is a Paul McCartney tribute um, called Live and Let Die, the music of Paul McCartney, and it stars Tony Kishman. 
and I saw I saw this show uh, February 15th of 2020 um, and it was a really cool venue I have a vlog um, of this concert which I will link above if you want to see that and when the show was over I almost felt like I had seen like the the real Paul because like he did a show kind of exactly how Paul would where he played Beatles songs and solo songs and wing songs um, and he you know is obviously in the show pretending to you know be Paul so he was like interacting with the audience just like Paul would and especially with the uh, Hey Jude sing-along part too and uh, this show because it was around Valentine's Day he focused on um, love songs a lot so he obviously played things like Maybe I'm Amazed and My Love and um, of course Beatles love songs then another one that I saw uh, last year in February was the British Invasion Years. And this is a really cool show because it focuses not only on the Beatles, but all sorts of other uh, British Invasion era artists as well. And you can see from both sides of the Atlantic. So they played, you know, a whole bunch of 60s hits, obviously. And it was a really cool, like, really feel-good show. It was just like a very happy show and you could tell they really were having fun uh doing what they were doing and obviously this was pre pre-pandemic so people were able to like get up and dance and stuff and it was a really fun fun experience and they were very kind to actually feature the vlog that i did of their concert um in on their facebook page rather um they shared it for all their fans to see so that was really cool i would definitely see them again they're actually scheduled to come to that same a little theater again in June. I'm not sure if that'll be able to to happen, but I hope it can because I would love to see them again. And then finally we are going to end with my very favorite Beatles tribute, which is Rain, a tribute to the Beatles. I love Rain so much. I've seen them five times now, uh, which is slowly approaching the amount of times that I've seen Paul too. Um, but I think they are so spot on in everything that they do in their appearances and their singing and their talking and their playing. Um, everything about them I just love and I just can't get enough of seeing them. I first saw them in 2012 and they typically at that time would come back to my local area like every two years. So at that time I was able to see them um, every two years. I think, let me see, 2012, 2014, 2016, two times and then 2019 was the most recent time I saw them. I was supposed to see them last year right before the pandemic hit. So Hopefully I could see them again soon because they really are, in my opinion, the best. And if you want to check out my blog, which I always have linked below, I did a review um, when I last, or kind of a synopsis rather, when I last saw them um, in 2019. And they were actually very kind to share that uh, to their Twitter page. And they they put so much detail into their shows as well. They um, like recreate little sound bites of Beatles interviews and they play, the, play those like as when they're, you know, changing costumes, changing sets. Um, and they like recreate the Beatles video clips too and there's like 60s music playing before the show and they play some funny uh 1960s commercials like the Flintstones and stuff so I really really enjoy the whole experience of seeing them and I can't wait until I can see them again all right Beatle people so that's going to do it for today's video I hope you enjoyed watching let me know in the comments below what your favorite Beatles tribute is I will leave my blog and social media linked down below so you can check those out if you'd like and as always have a beautiful day everybody Bye bye